Okay, all right. A very good morning to you once again. We're coming to you live from the Durban City Hall for the special official funeral of the late Justice Tembile Lewis Square. Judge Square passed away um, in the early hours of uh, Monday morning. We are told it was after a short illness. He had suffered cardiac failure. Judge Square was 76. But he lived a full life. Um, and I'll just, just briefly um, just give you a little bit of about uh, his uh, profile. Judge Square was born in uh, the Western Cape in 1939, uh, went on uh, to studying at the University of Cosmetal uh, in the uh, 60s. He was admitted as an advocate in the 1970s in the Kwazulu Natal. Um, he served for over 50 years, uh, worked for over 50 years as a lawyer. He was a human rights uh, activist and he was also the Chancellor of the University of Fort Hare. Um, he continued to uh, uh, work as I mentioned uh, human rights uh, he was very much involved uh, in human rights and civil liberty cases then came his appointment to uh, the constitutional court in 2004 until he retired in April last year and at the time of his passing he was the inspecting judge of uh, prisons uh, and today the uh, country will gather here at uh, City Hall to pay their respects and bid farewell to a remarkable man um, who had many many friends uh, Judge uh, Square was certainly well loved and uh, respected and just speaking about uh, his esteemed colleagues and friends I have the pleasure uh, with me right now is uh, the former Deputy President of the Supreme Court of uh, Appeal Judge uh, Kenneth um, Justice, thank you very much for uh, your time this morning, Judge Mtiane. Um, I must say this must be an extremely difficult uh, time for you. Thank you, Ayanda. It is always a very difficult time to, to try and uh, recall uh, the life of, uh, of a giant. You know? But it's an honor and privilege to be afforded an opportunity to say something about, about uh, Judge Tembile Square. He was a colleague of mine and a friend. We worked in different courts, as you, as you have said, when you introduced the, me to, to, to the audience and the viewers. Uh, I was uh, in the Supreme Court of Appeal, he was at Kunshan Court. But before that, we, 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 we worked together uh, uh, in the legal practice when he started off as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, as an advocate of the then Supreme Court of Appeal. I was at that time an attorney, and uh, we did a lot of work with him. So I, I recall uh, Square with great uh, fondness because of the tremendous contribution that he made uh, in the struggle for the liberation of the people of this country. You, will, you have pointed out when you, when you opened this uh, slot that he, he died at 76, you know. You know, he was a lawyer for 25 to 26 years, so he devoted one third of his life uh, to the struggle uh, for, for, for the liberation of, of, of people of this country in the sense that he represented uh, political activists for many, many, many years. At great risk to himself and his family because he did this kind of work at a time when uh, most lawyers shied away from that kind of work. He was a dedicated and fearless lawyer uh, uh, well, when it came to, 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 to representing political activists. Judge Mtien, I'm going to thank you very much for your time. I'm going to ask uh, that we leave it here just for now. And I know that you will be joining uh, us uh, throughout the uh, day and we will continue with our conversation with you. But thank you very much thank for your time. You. At the moment, that was uh, Judge Kenneth Mtian, a friend and a colleague of uh, the late Judge uh, Tembi Lek Square. Yeah. Um, just very briefly, the uh, uh, daily, uh, dignitaries are starting to uh, arrive. But uh, for now, let me wrap it up. And and take things back to uh, you, Lebo, in this.